Hey everybody, today I'm going to mount the 100 watt solar panel on the four wheel camper roof. I'm going to mount a gas hinge so I can tilt it from flat to about 40 degrees. I have my frame pieces, which I'm using inch and a half by inch and a half aluminum angle by eighth inch thick. I've already mounted one up on the roof and it's working out great. So I'll walk you through this process as I go with the second panel. Uh, here we go, should be fun. Have all the panel brackets installed that was tedious last time i just used sheet metal screws but it wasn't the optimum application i mean it worked good but the hinge has a lot of torque on it so i just elected to uh, bolt these nice and tight so there won't be any issues in the future complete. Okay, we should have, ooh, what's going on here? Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. I gotta cut the, uh, cut the ends off. One down, one to go. That's what can rotate without digging into the roof or the floor right here. We're getting closer. Got the hinge points installed. They kind of do a little figuring to mount the hinge on the first panel I did in order to get clearance from the aluminum bracket with the hinge when it's closed. So I had to drill out a couple of holes in this bracket so I could offset it a little bit further so the hinge would be clear of the aluminum angle on the roof. So I had to twist, uh, rotate the bracket 180 and I'm gonna drill it right about there, kind of middle in the panel and then I'll put this back and it should be good right at 40 degrees. Voila, custom holes drilled, success. These hinges probably are a couple pounds more than I need. I believe these are 20 pound gas struts, 15 inch long. I probably could have done a 12, 12 inch long with like maybe 15 pounds, but it's pretty nice. All right, there's the mock-up. Pretty perfect. Eh, maybe it's a little, maybe 41 degrees, who cares? Close enough. That's really nice. Uh, one more thing I almost forgot. I need to drill a couple more holes. So this is what holds the panel down. These go right, right here. Just finished up with the cotter pin or stopper pin, whatever you want to call it. So you pull the pin, pull the stopper piece on this side, makes it so it doesn't move. One on each side. Secures it down when you're driving around. All right, we're finished. Finito. Time to mount on the camper tomorrow. We'll see you then. Now we're gonna put spacers in. Have quarter inch rubber gasket spacers. Allows the water to flow underneath the mounting brackets.
bomber. This rubber gasket on the sheet metal screw is probably pretty darn waterproof. So this is just double protection, putting this around the screw head. It's a real pain getting the sealant around the, spa the rubber spacer because I only have a quarter inch to work with. And that's probably where I need the sealant the most. So I got to just gob a whole bunch of it and spread it around. Just have these little matchsticks to help get the sealant around the spacer. Got the panels mounted, just doing the finishing touches, securing down the wires. One of those panels. Just got to trim the tabs off the zip ties. And we're all set, securing the wire down. And we're pulling a lot of good solar. Let me know if you have any questions. Take it easy out there. This is Kevin from Big Mountains and Backwoods. See you next time.